Yo, did you come into raid and didn't heal? He's running in a perfect circle. This is a script. This might be a cheating. To get an advantage. Oh shit, hello. Add L. He'll never know that I watched one of his videos. That's crazy. Yo, did you come into raid and didn't heal? Hello? Did you not heal, dude? You good? Hello? He's running in a perfect circle. This is a script. See how it's a perfect circle every single time? And he's unhealed. This might be a cheater. This is a cheater. Is it Tarkov.dev that lets you search up people's stats? Laird. All right, Mr. Bonaparte. Search. There's 120 raids already. It was 0 0.9 KD. It's only scabbed four times ever. That's crazy. I mean, you never guess that someone with a 0 0.9 KD would be cheating. But here you have this brand new account, fresh account, scripting running around in circles, lowering his stats. That's crazy. I think it's a UMP above. So this guy is paired with someone with an ump. He's below me to the left. I have all the advantages here. I can outweigh him easily. The only advantage he might have is the fact that I killed his teammate. And his teammate might tell him where I'm at. What the fuck happened here, bro? There's bodies fucking everywhere, dude. That'll give us an idea of who has valuable items. I'm not sure how much a gazelle is right now. Maybe you guys are? Player died somewhere and a scav picked up his shit and brought it up to me upstairs. Two dead players here. Or the juicer or the couch bag. I think that was one I was pinging rounds on originally over here. Wow. 
I'm not gonna fuck around with that boy in the bush. Thanks for the gifted sub to Senior Ruby. How'd you do that? I think I just threw one of those on the ground. BTG coming in clutch. This guy's backpack is bugged out. We love to see it. Uh. Level 52 USEC. Um, I mean, I don't really want anything else. We will be on our way. Does kind of suck. But at the end of the day, man, like maybe you're new, you have some gear or something. I don't know, and I'm not saying that to diss you. We were all there. We were all there at one point, but yeah, it is what it is, man. I died. Enjoy my gear. GG's. All right, GG's this three men as well. Someone clipped that for me. It was, uh, it was Good timing, I'm giving like a a stupid, not speech, but I don't know, I'm ranting while I'm putting these guys down. It was entertaining to me. <laughs> Fuck! I just spilled a drink everywhere, dude. But yeah, dude, you're straight, don't trip over too much. Sorry, I'm looting really poorly because I have a uh, drink dripping all over my desk. Yo, Mr. Moxie, thanks for the tier one, bro. I appreciate it. The big problem with the game is like people don't like it when they feel like there's nothing they can do. So when you die to a cheater or you die to, um, if you, you get the same sensation, you die to someone that's like sitting at the evac, right? Or you die to someone who's just like randomly like in the middle of a firefight, you kill all his friends and he decides to go role play as a piece of trash, right? You feel you get this sensation. It's like, dude, like, what do I even do against it? It makes you feel helpless and like nothing is being changed, and it really takes away from the game. I don't have my earphones and I can't hear where I'm being shot from. I just hear the shots going on. All right. <sighs> Sorry about that. Had a little bit of a spillage occur, but got it all cleaned up. Gonna have to mop after the stream, but it's all good. I feel like people just aren't participating whatsoever and just sitting around or abusing game mechanics. So, and same thing with people that are cheating, you know? They're like three sides of the same coin. They're all just abusing things to get an advantage. Oh shit, hello. Huh. Don't mind if I do. Three BTG. I can lug that fucking thing out of here. I don't know if I wanted. Dude, that's that's a lot of weight, man. Oh, I didn't get an insta search on that. That'd have been sick. That's why I popped the three BTG. If you haven't seen my video on uh, stims, you absolutely should watch that.
Oh, I discarded it. I'm an idiot. Do oh. you feel like you kept improving after playing for a while? I have about 950 hours. Uh, throughout like five wipes, this is the first time I've actually stuck with it. Did you notice yourself having big improvements in skill from 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 hours? Okay, have you ever heard like this saying that there's 10, it takes 10,000 hours to master something? Whoa, that's like only half true. So, if you put in the same amount of time as someone else, and you just hope to get as good as him, it's not gonna happen. It, like, for example, if you just went and like, you know, played basketball at your local basketball court, for an hour right and you have someone who's like a college athlete who goes and puts in an hour training they're both just playing basketball for an hour but one is going to get way better now i'm not telling you to go to like apply this to tarkov and go train in tarkov right that's like ridiculous but if you're doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result that's the definition of insanity so if you're just showing up on tarkov doing the exact same thing every single time and hoping to get better you're going to get better at a very very slow rate You'll also see if you go look all over YouTube or all over Twitch, there's a lot of people that have 8,000 hours, 9,000 hours, and they do things from old metas. Like you see people that are running the mutant right now, with PP ammunition. Like that worked great last wipe, but it's terrible this wipe, and they're not like adapting, right? So you gotta like constantly like engage your brain. For example, one thing I realized when I was playing with Operator Drewski is that he would call out to his team, he would call out to his team every single time he heard a shot and then a rapport so we would have information on like where other people were moving around on the map and at first i thought it was like i was like ah you know like I, i'm paying attention i hear that but i realized that by him just saying it out loud i had uh way better information like i, I was like more likely to remember and then i was listening and paying more attention to where people were actually routing around on the map and i could actually go ahead and plan ahead and ambush them like for example the three stack that we got the drop on in ollie right and you know engage your brain you do, a lot of tarkov players simply just run the same map over and over again they run the same routes they run between cover in the same way they check the same angles and you're effectively just playing like a simulation over and over and over again and it's kind of like that movie with tom cruise and you just get like better at those simulations right but you can just engage your brain and like think a little bit and you'll have way more success Got ourselves three sr25s cancerous a bottle cap bob one clip caden i left some other tags around the map big pimpin gg solve you guys uh this will probably be one of the first videos on my second youtube channel so these are gonna be like stream highlights funny moments etc if you guys watch my youtube channel but you've never been to my stream before this is what i look like i have uh sunglasses on inside because i'm a douchebag it's actually because there's a super bright light in the uh behind the camera that like blows my eyes out damn he's a natural Five kills, 12,000 experience. We will take it, baby. We will take it.